So I've been told independent is very is a very special fair. Could you explain the process of selection? Um, the independent was founded ten years ago, and at the time of the financial crisis, the last financial crisis in New York, and the idea really was to create a context and a platform for artists, and that was always the primary focus. Was that we were thinking about how do you create a art fair that artists were actively interested in participating in. And then beyond that, trying to think about how to create conditions for galleries that moved away from the sort of trade show convention-like aesthetics of other art fairs. So we wanted to create something that was closer to your experience of seeing exhibitions in galleries or institutions even, whilst at the same time remaining a, a viable platform for commercial uh, art fair transactions. And from the beginning, we wanted to invite uh, we wanted to break down some of the hierarchies that you might encounter at a typical art fair. The relationship between independent, smaller galleries, blue chip galleries, uh, galleries that dealt in secondary market material and so forth. And we also wanted to introduce what I call maverick uh, voices, uh, galleries that support the work of self-taught artists, folk artists, and what the curator Lynn Cook has recently termed outliers. And we wanted to have all of these positions together simultaneously uh, without any real distinctions between them. And certainly the architecture of the space was important too, that we wanted to move away from booths and create something that was much more fluid. But so how to select a gallery? Uh, well, I think, you know, from, from the beginning, um, I'm the sort of curatorial advisor to the fair. And I think certainly aspects of independent reflect some of my personal interests, which was that when I would go to see exhibitions, say in New York City or another city, I would see all kinds of art within the course of a day. Uh, and I was very interested in trying to sort of recreate that experience within the context of a fair. And there are certainly dealers that historically I've always gravitated to. And they're galleries that I think have what I would call uh, a point of view or a position. Mm -hmm. And um, almost even like an attitude. There's a sort of prevailing attitude uh, in the way that they approach running a gallery, in the program, and even in the individual's artists that they represent. So we were very interested in independent containing 40, 50, or 60 of these kind of very idiosyncratic positions, very idiosyncratic art dealers, and allowing them to all coexist and see what happens. So now that we've been doing independent for over 10 years, more than 200 galleries have participated in independent. Each year we rotate about 30% of the galleries so that the conversation is always changing, that the conversation is always moving into different directions. Merci.